Hey everybody, it's Janelle with Parsnips and Parsimony. If you watched my other video on how I was pruning my late spring mums, you saw that I had a lot of extra growth, which I pruned off, which is right here. And I wanted to, I did some sleuthing on YouTube and wanted to document my experience trying to root these cuttings at home to see if I can make more mum plants. I've never tried this before, but after watching some of the videos here on YouTube, I thought it was something that looked really interesting to me and I wanted to give it a try. So I'm using what I have on hand. A lot of the videos talked about the soil mixture and ratio and I may be doomed to failure just right off the bat, but you know, it, it wouldn't be a, uh, let me try it myself as a home gardener without doing, using what I have on hand. I have a container here, um, actually a salad mix container that I picked up at the grocery store. I filled it with some miracle Grow seed starting mix that I had left over from starting my seeds earlier this spring. And I'm going to keep this in my house so I can really make sure I can babysit it and we'll see what happens. They did say that expect only a third of your mum babies to survive. So I have a quite a large selection here. And hopefully at least one or two, I am making a mess, one or two of these will make it. While I was prepping for this video for you guys, I did put these in just some water here to kind of revive them because I had just trimmed them and I didn't want them to be dried out at all. I have my soil. And then I had, I don't know, it says root tone. Um, I've had this for a while. This is the rooting powder. Again, I'm just using what I have on hand. I'm going to be using that as well. I presume you can get that at any of your local nurseries or garden supply places. I'll put a link for what I'm using down in the description. If you can't find it in your local places, I'm sure Amazon has it and I'll put that link down below. When I was looking online, you want to trim off these lower leaves. Again, I've never done this before. I've always wintered over my mom's, but I've actually never started them from cuttings. I wonder how far down it has to go. Hmm. Then I noticed that was there was really no great instruction or tutorial, so here I am. You guys get to see this real life. I'm going to, this was actually already setting flowers here. I'm going to just prune that off. I don't know what I'm doing. Ta-da! <laughs> and then this has already been in water, so I'm just going to dip it in my rooting hormone. Coat it tap it off. There it is. And then I will dip it in, plop it in my soil like that. Ta-da! Wow, that was hard. I'll finish up with the rest of these and then just let this sit out on my uh, sunny window here. They said that it usually takes up to 14 days for it to root and I'll well, we'll see. I don't know how this will work. I don't know if I'm using the right soil mixture ratio, but I'm using what I have and, and maybe this will actually work. check these. I have no idea if it will work. So I'll be back in 14 days to see how these are growing nice. and show you guys the results. And with all the magic of YouTube, you're going to see that next. It's been a little over two weeks and the mums have been just sitting here rooting away. None of these have died yet. Now they did say that to expect only a third to survive, but these guys still looking really good. I did add some more water to them. 
But when I look at the bottom, the roots. Look at the roots. Let's see if I can lift this up. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at all those roots. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So with that, the mom cuttings did actually work with using the rooting hormone powder. I'm going to transplant these into individual pots and then just let them grow all summer and transplant them this fall, but it actually worked. I would love to hear your results if you tried it and how it worked out for you. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video.